Good evening, everybody. Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. Today is January 12th, 2024, and I want to give an update on my earlier video about January 13th. The new moon was confirmed, and to be quite honest, this does not change anything that I shared early earlier in that video about January 13th, because once the new moon is confirmed here on Friday, January 12th. This is already Saturday, the Sabbath. This is already the Sabbath. Once the new moon is confirmed on a Friday evening, it is already the Sabbath. So we do have this whole entire day between Friday, January 12th, and Saturday, January 13th, as the first day of Shabbat. And one thing that was brought to my attention as soon as I did that other video, that all of this prophecy connected to Rabbi Yitzhak Kaduri and the death of Ariel Sharon and the, and the coming of the Messiah, another part of this prophecy was brought forth by the Rabbi Shoshani. And one of the things that Rabbi Shoshani had mentioned is that the Sabbath afterwards is that the Sabbath afterwards he will come and be revealed okay the Sabbath afterwards he will come and be revealed and so here we have January 11th everything we've already seen connected to the death of Ariel Sharon and now we have the new moon of January 12th which takes us into Sabbath between January 12th and January 13th. We are now connected to the burial of Ariel Sharon right now, January 13th in Israel. Jesus coming after Ariel Sharon's death and Rabbi Shoshani mentions Sabbath afterwards he will come and be revealed. The other thing that is connected to this is Mexico as the shofar of God. And on January 6th, we had the shofar that sounded here in Yucatan, Mexico. And this could be our seven-day warning to January 13th. So this is just an update from my previous video. The, the moon has been confirmed. We have an addition to this this portion of the prophecy where it says the Sabbath afterwards he will come and be revealed. Remember, January 13th is December 31st on the Julian calendar. So this is the 365th day on the Julian calendar could be connected to the rapture of Enoch on the 365th day. And if Shavat 1, as we have shared in previous videos, is the New Year of the Trees, because even though they celebrate the New Year of the Trees on Shavat 15, many believe that Shavat 1 is the true New Year. And so this would be the end of this would be the end of winter. Pray that your flight be not in winter. Okay, I pray you guys are blessed. We are watching for the soon return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, whether it is tonight or tomorrow or at some other time. We have the signs that we were told to watch and we are watching. So I pray you are all blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.